for the past 24 hours, the word that I hear the most here is inflation and this need perhaps to adjust monetary policy and normalization. Those two words come out a lot. When you look at normalization, what does it mean for you at the Bank of Italy? Well, first of all, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, and uh, secondly, well, I think we should start by uh, recalling that we fought in the past years uh, several risks. The risks of deflation and the risk of the pandemic generating a permanent recession. And we have been able to successfully counter these risks. Uh, now, how, how did we do? Well, we did this uh, set of, introduced a set of unconventional monetary policy measures, one of them being uh, having uh, official interest rates in negative territory for a long, long period. Now, uh, I think that uh, we can move out of this negative territory uh, for various reasons. On one side, uh, demand is back, really, uh, even if not as high as it was before the, uh, well, it is more or less at the level that it was before the pandemic started, but also inflation expectations are now at around 2% and apparently they are going to stay there. And therefore we can move and we can move gradually uh, raising interest rates in the coming months. And when you say we can move gradually, what does gradually mean to you? Is it June, July? Maybe it's not the time to put a specific month on it. What does gradual mean well, for you? June, certainly not, because in, Out June, of the question. in June we are still uh, purchasing uh, uh, asset assets for our uh, APP program uh, and we will end it uh, but uh, clearly we also have stated even if we are not prisoners of our forward guidance and so on but we have stated that we will move after that after means perhaps July and the gradual means in my in my view that we have to understand that we should move without creating uncertainty in the market. Obviously, uh, there have been many voices in the last uh, many voices. few weeks. And I try really to refrain from uh, intervening too much. But I think that um, we should consider uh, very carefully uh, what we should do on the basis not only of the data, but also of the assessments, the analytical assessment that we can provide. So we should move gradually along a path which uh, really ha uh, on which we really have still to decide where to settle. It is not obvious where. When uh, it depends very much on the state of uncertainty. We, have, we are living in a very, very high uncertainty now because of the various events, and certainly the most dramatic one being the invasion of Ukraine from Russia. Uh, and uh, we have to be dependent on the data and on the analysis. We will move, uh, I think we should move gradually around that.